Western. I'm Amanda Viveros. And I'm Connor Malbuff, and we're your Western TV hosts. Today, we have the opportunity to be in downtown Toronto at ET Canada, talking to Rick Campanelli, host of ET Canada. So obviously, you've been in the industry a fairly long time. Some would say a very long time. Some, and some would say a long ass time. Yeah. How, how has the industry changed from from being Rick the Temp to where you are now? It has really changed. Um, and not so much the content, because it's always been about giving the fans, the people at home that tune into entertainment shows, music shows, film shows, giving them what they want. Uh, in terms of getting it out there, that's changed uh, totally with social media and, and digital and everything online and, you know, <laughs> When I first started in this industry in '94, there was none of that. I think it's a positive change, or yeah, sure, yeah. it's it's all positive. We're moving in that direction. You have to keep with it. Um, but the but the but the one thing that stays the same is that you know we're providing entertainment. What is a day in the life? Well, when I'm at work, yeah, it's, on radio now too. it's yeah, yeah, it's up early, 4:30 in the morning, and heading to the edge to do the morning radio show with uh, my co-hosts Fred and Mel. Um, and then after that, we have our morning meetings down there, preparing for the next day. Then I get up here to ET Canada at 10 a.m. into makeup and into studio roughly around 11 a.m. And we shoot here all day uh, until 5.30 we're here, some days. And then, you know, I go home and spend a, a couple, well, maybe one precious hour with my little boys before we get them ready for bed and with my wife as well. And uh, and then off to bed. I am honestly into bed at like 8 p.m. Well, you have to be if you're up at 4:30. And comparing TV to radio, what do you what do you see the biggest difference? Does one have a more creative? creative yeah. Well, with with radio, it's all ad libbing and spontaneous and whatever happens uh, uh, off the cuff. It's mostly that stuff. Like much music was. Et Canada. You know, as as you look around at these cameras here, they're all they all have teleprompters on them, so it's all scripted. It's a 22 minute show, mind you, so it has to be concise. You prefer one over the other? No, I guess you, you know, I started in TV, and it's the it was the best of both worlds back then because it was TV, it was live, it was w once it was out there, it was out there, you couldn't get it back. Do you find that odd that you started in television? I feel like a lot of students and just people our age actually start off in radio first and then make that transition. Yeah, you know, I never went to school for what you guys are going to school for. I, I was honestly going to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, I gym went to teacher, no? A gym, <laughs> a gym teacher, yes. You got it, Connor. Yeah, I went to sneaks, university for, <laughs> for phys ed. I'm a phys ed grad until I won, won a contest at a TV station which opened up the doors and, and my eyes to the whole TV world and I just fell in love with it. Why did you actually apply for that contest? What made you, what pushed I, you? Yeah, back in like, oh, going way before you guys way were ever, ever, ever no, around. I don't know if we were born yet, but. <laughs> no, in the mid 80s, <laughs> they started up this amazing music video channel, Much Music, 84. And since 84, uh, and I was, it was my first year in, in high school, I was an, a religious watcher, I avid watcher of much music videos. I just loved the novelty of the music video back then. You know, I didn't start until 96, February of 96, and I was terrible. I was terrible for at least a good year, I would say, because like you said, your comfort zone. I wasn't, I wasn't comfortable in front of the cameras. I wasn't comfortable in front of people. I was a shy kid growing up. And like I said, I was gonna be a teacher, a phys ed teacher, so you know, but to be thrown into this world of television, interviewing. I remember, still remember to this day, my boss at the time coming up to me after my first interview, she said that was the worst interview I've ever seen in my life. The vote of confidence. But yeah, but, but, but it also, it, it put that fire under me and pushed me to better myself. And where can we find that interview? Oh, I don't think you can. <laughs> find it. No, I don't think you can find that one. That's was literally that? 20 years ago. It was an indie band okay. out of Saskatoon. Okay. Bluebeard, I remember the name, and I tell there the story go, to everybody. Now, I don't know if they're still around. They're, you know, they're not the level of you two, but uh, maybe they're still doing their thing. Now, obviously, Western TV is pretty student oriented. If you could give one one piece of advice, short advice to to a student who wants to go into media or any or any sort of industry well, that's tough to break through, it's sim say? simple piece of advice. They're hiring you for this position for you. You can't change who you are. So Western TV, we're, we're uh, pretty known for doing rapid fire questions. Something we've done Favorite part. religiously. Yeah, I love uh, rapid fire. So we're fire. gonna pretty much spew out a um, enormous amount of questions in a short amount of time. First one, boxers or briefs? Oh, that's simple. Um, like the boxer briefs. Okay. Favorite emoji? 
Oh God, I just smiley face. I'm very, very basic when it comes to that's emojis. Fine. Yeah, Simple smiley sweet. face, happy face, that's good. Okay, what song do you have on replay right now? Definitely something from the Chili Peppers, like a Dean Martin or okay. Frank Sinatra. Does Dean Martin do the Roma song? No, maybe I'm sing it, sing it. Como bella, Cella Luna. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he does. I, I can't. I, I, I'm not Italian, you know, but I, I like it. I like it. It was pretty. Yeah, that you can pass as Italian. That's a yeah, good it's accent. Like, bella, yeah. I don't know. All right, yeah. so Brock or Western? Okay, well, I'm a Brock grad, and my wife Angie is a Western grad. Ooh, yeah, uh, yeah. That's yeah. So awesome. <laughs> we we have the schools send us um, little uh, outfits for our for our boys. So every time Brock will send something, and I and I Instagram or tweet something out thanking Brock, well then Western will have to <laughs> send something. <laughs> and Angie still thinks our little boys are going to Western. I still still think they're going to Brock, but we both say um, wherever they want to go, they they can go. Rick, thank you so Connor, much. Connor, Amanda, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you for watching Western TV. See you, Western. Yeah. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Go Mustangs. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, Brock TV.